How are we doing? It's just CPay back here to do another review. Um, for today's review, I've got a company I've actually done a few of their reviews before and I've tried multiple flavors, multiple stuff from them uh, because they're kind of local and they're very readily available. So if you go to any supplement store, you can basically ask for sample packs. They actually sell like boxes of sample packs per flavor. I've tried that. I might even review that soon because I know a lot of people don't care about flavors, but to me, if you're taking something on a daily, flavors do matter. And um, the company that I'm talking about is Faction Labs. And the product that I'm talking about today is Disorder Bulge. I don't know why they had to put the disorder portion of it because it's a stimulant pump free formula. Uh, sorry, uh, stimulant free pump formula. It's like you do, you really need to call it disorder, which is what they call their pre workout. Um, Odd name as well with Bulge, because obviously the second you think of that, you're thinking about just fucking packing heat downstairs. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, let's go through first and foremost the flavor. So as I've said before, this company is known for their flavors. Like it's very rare that I try anything from them and I get disappointed. The worst usually that they do with flavor is pretty good. And they've gone as far as like being amazing. Like their grape is fantastic. That was for their pre-workout. Their vanilla cola was like really, really top notch. If anyone's gonna try something from them, I would suggest the vanilla cola flavor. I don't know the difference between the pre-workout and the fat burner, because I tried the fat burner for the vanilla cola, and man, that was elite, like absolutely elite. Delicious fucking drink, and worked well. Um, this one is the red Russian flavor, and there's another flavor you can get, which is just basic unflavored. Uh, this isn't my actual pump formula, a friend of mine bought it. I would have preferred if it was the non-flavored, because obviously a lot of people like to stack these products, but nonetheless, the red Russian flavor is pretty average. This is, I would say, the worst flavor I've tried from Faction Labs. Um, it just doesn't feel like there was a lot of effort put into it. It's bland and it's got a really fucking salty taste to it, like a really salty taste. And yes, with a lot of these pump formulas, they put in pink Himalayan salt and sodiums a little bit higher, which I think is a good thing. But I've never tasted the salt as explicitly as I have in this one. Like, I mean, it's just, you'd think there's like a gram of fucking pink Himalayan sea salt. That's how much you can taste in it. But nonetheless, it's not awful. So you will be able to chug this down, kind of no problem. It's just not anything to write home about. Let's look at the label. You've got six grams of l -citrulline. That's the perfect amount. I don't believe you need to do the whole 10 grams that a lot of companies tend to be going towards. And I think six grams of pure L-citrulline is fine. Like that's more than fine. Um, then you got creatine monohydrate at five grams. I prefer for that not to be in there. Not because I don't like creatine or I like to individually source my creatine into my pre-workouts on a daily basis. But for me, creatine can have a negative effect on my stomach. So I'm like, I'd rather just not have it. Glycerol powder at 65%. That's quite nice. And you got three grams of it. So it's a hefty dose. Most companies tend to do like a gram, two grams. Some have gone even higher, but three grams is I think a great amount. Um, that's roughly 1950, I believe, in terms of total glycerol that you're getting from it, because it is 65% uh, like of the active ingredient. You got taurine at three grams. That's a great amount of taurine. And then you got L-tyrosine at three grams. So you're getting quite hefty dosages of these ingredients, and I like that. Um, I like the fact that this label is a little bit more unique. It's not your standard six grams of fucking L-citrulline, a gram of glycerol powder, some pink Himalayan sea salt, and maybe some beta, and that's it. Call it a day. You got vitamin C at 500 milligrams. That's meant to help absorb some of these as well, and it's also just a generally healthy ingredient to have. You got pink Himalayan sea salt at fucking 500 milligrams. Boy, would you think it's more than that. If you've tried this, boy, would you think it's more than that. Like, it fucking tastes salty. Um, you got potassium chloride at 260 milligrams, piperine extract at five milligrams. That's just to shuttle in all the ingredients. All right, we've got the flavor out of the way. We've got the label out of the way. It's a 25 gram scoop. It's got this odd recommended use where it's one scoop, not even one heaping scoop for 400 to 500 mils. I don't know if that's some law um, 
here in Australia where like you can't tell them to use two scoops or too much ingredients or whatever, but I don't know why they would put that if that isn't the law because this is a very well-known company in Australia. It's probably one of the most advertised, like one of the most fan-friendly store-bought fucking products you can get. But nonetheless, the actual effects of this were pretty fucking solid, man. I took this in three different ways. I took this at one heaping scoop. That was my first attempt. I took it at one and a half scoops or like one heaping scoop and one half of a scoop. And then I took it twice at two heaping scoops, roughly 25 grams. Once I think I got 24.7, the other one I got like 25.3. It's not gonna be perfect. Who gives a shit, you know? Um, and overall, I'll tell you how I kind of found it in terms of differences. So for the, from the first scoop, I felt quite a nice pump. Um, I did these all on legs because that's all I can train. As you can tell, I've got no fucking muscle on my arms or my shoulders. It's all melted away from injuries and everything like that. But I could really feel this on legs. Even in one heaping scoop, I could feel it. And when you look at it, there's nothing particularly stand out at one scoop. But I definitely felt it. It's not a tight, vascular feeling. It's more of a watery, fucking massive look that you get. Um, the friend that gave me this out of all the pump formulas, and he's a bit of a beginner at the gym, but out of all the pumps he's tried, he liked this one the most. He just felt the most swollen this, which makes sense. And if you can do upper body, you can probably see those as more evident kind of uh, results than you can for when you're doing legs. I do have quite lean legs. Legs are my biggest muscle group. So, and I train them soft and I can't see the differences. At one and a half scoops or one heaping scoop and a half, it was a little bit more. And then at two heaping scoops, it was quite a dirty pump. It was very watery, very swole. You know, one of those pumps where you almost feel like it's a bit much, like it's teetering and too much. Um, and that's weird because it's like, it's hard to say, oh, what, you want too much of a pump or too little of a pump? But there is an element of, if you have too much of the pump ingredients, you will literally start getting tender soreness. Um, this was teetering on that, but overall it came through quite nicely. Do I recommend this? Absolutely, especially if you're here in Australia, you can get this for quite cheap. I think I've seen it like 54 Australian dollars. And I don't believe you need to use two scoops anyways. So you could probably get 30 servings out of this if you did a scoop and a half, and that's more than fine. It's comfortably stackable with most products. So the only thing you really wouldn't want to stack this with is a pre-workout that already has five grams of creatine monohydrate. Because if we're doing 10 grams of creatine monohydrate, I think we're overdoing it. Um, but it's got no beta alanine. So yes, you can stack it with something that has beta alanine. And overall because it's not too pricey, you're not being asked to stack, you know, a $5 scoop with a $4 scoop. And it's like, well, Jesus fucking Christ, we're paying near 10 bucks to do a workout. Obviously that's where it teeters onto that too much category. Um, it doesn't hit everything. It could be better in terms of vascular, veiny, shredded kind of appeal that some of these pump formulas give you, but it hits the mark on that swole, fucking thick boy, juicy, central type of look that a lot of people go for. I think overall, this is a good formula. I think Faction Labs tends to do quite well. They're not a company that seems to use cheap ingredients because I've seen labels with similar-ish ingredients, not exactly the same, and they don't feel very good, but I can tell that they're putting quality ingredients and Australian companies tend to do that. That's just their thing. Alrighty, hope you enjoy that review. Peace.